Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. A study was published in the Lancet Psychiatry Journal and it has some pretty scary findings. Um, they found that people who have had the COVID virus are far more likely to experience mental health issues. There are long lasting, very severe symptoms that patients experience even if they survive the coronavirus including these. So this is why all these people out there saying that, oh, you know, the, the death rate isn't that high. It's, it's not just the death rate. It's the financial ramifications, the medical bills that come with this. It's the long-term health and mental health implications. So this needs to be taken more seriously. So here's the deal. This study which was conducted by Oxford researchers, reviewed the health records of 69 million Americans, including the health information of over 62,000 U.S. residents who have been infected with COVID. What they found was that within three months following a COVID diagnosis, one out of every five survivors reported having anxiety, depression, or insomnia. One really strange finding was that people who already had a pre-existing mental illness were 65% more likely to be diagnosed with COVID as compared to people with no reported mental health issues. And researchers found that COVID survivors had a significantly higher risk of developing dementia, which is very scary. To, to laugh at this for a moment, this would explain a lot about Donald Trump and how he's been handling his presidential election loss. But yeah, seriously, this is something that no one is talking about, and it could have long-term consequences for a massive number of people, not just here in the U.S., but throughout the world. I mean, consider that in the U.S. alone, we've had more than 11 million reported cases. So again, yes, people are dying. There's been way too many people have died from this virus. But on top of that, you have a huge segment of the population that could be walking around with mental health issues, with anxiety, depression, insomnia, and who are at great risk of developing dementia. Again, this needs to be taken very seriously and as of now, they don't appear to be 100% certain as to why this is. However, a professor from King's College in London told Reuters that because COVID affects the central nervous system, it could increase existing disorders. So that's one explanation, but didn't sound like they were too sure of that. We know that this puts a lot of stress on your heart, that there are long-term consequences and there's long-term damage to your heart when you develop COVID. Yeah, it's just appearing that the, the long-term ramifications of this virus are very, very scary. If I hear any more, I'll let you guys know. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and listening. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.